Welcome to Electroplating Guitar Hardware at home. So in short, with electroplating, you can take, for example, your nickel guitar hardware and plate it gold or chrome or remove the chrome, plate it copper, black chrome, etc. Possibilities are endless. So what you need is a DC power supply. The plus cable is connected to the electrode. For most cases, it's stainless steel and the minus cable is connected to the workpiece. And then you put both of these in a container with the electrolytes of your choice. But be sure that the electrode never touches the workpiece directly as that would cause a short circuit. Besides the various metal electrolytes like gold, nickel, copper, etc. There's also stuff like a degreaser, an oxide remover, chrome stripper and so on. And all of these are used in the same way, except for the chrome stripping you need to reverse the polarity. Alright, let's begin. I want to copper plate all the hardware of my Epiphone Wilshire. All the stock hardware is nickel, which makes it easy for us, because usually all metal parts are first plated with nickel, and on top of nickel you can plate almost everything else, gold, chrome, etc. I'm starting with all the small parts. Right now they're in the degreaser, because it's important to have a grease-free surface, otherwise all the other steps won't work. Next up is the oxide remover, which removes a thin layer of oxides on the metal parts, which otherwise would cause issues with the electroplating later on. And now the parts are swimming in copper electrolyte, which is this blue substance. And I switch the electrode to a copper one. The copper plating is actually super quick. I just leave it in there for 10 seconds. Then I rinse the parts with water and dry them with a cloth. And here's the result. Next up are these brass saddles from a Telecaster bridge. I want to first nickel plate them and then try black chrome. So same story, I first degrease them, then do the oxide removal and then they go into the nickel electrolyte. And here's what the brass saddles look like with nickel plating. And then they went into the black chrome electrolyte. And for this I'm using a graphite electrode. I left the saddles in there for rather long, but they didn't really get very dark. So maybe I did something wrong. They only were slightly darker than with the nickel. Next up is this pickup cover from my Marcus Miller Jazz Bass. Right now it has chrome on it, which we need to remove first, as you can't plate anything on top of chrome. Uh, nickel is slightly more greenish, yellowish compared to chrome. And here we can see the difference. And now we put the other half of the part in the chrome stripper. Then I'm doing the oxide remover again, just to be sure. And then for the first time I'm using the gold electrolyte. Uh, I only have a small bottle of it, so I can't submerge the whole part in it. So instead I'm doing the brush on method. For the gold I'm using a carbon electrode. And on the electrode goes this tampon and then I'm brushing on the gold. Here is it next to a nickel part for comparison. And I was brushing a bit unevenly. On this edge I need to add some extra gold later on. All right, now with nickel, black chrome and gold out of the way, let's get back to the copper. <coughs> now I'm doing the larger parts of the guitar. For the Epiphone, I bought a nickel less trim and we will copper plate it now. It's the same steps as before, first degreasing, then removing the oxides and then copper plating. And here's the result. For the vibrato arm, I want to try out masking off just the tip of the bar. So only the tip will be copper and the rest will stay nickel. Now let's assemble the last tramp. And we move on copper plating the locking tuners. Some of these liquids are acidic, especially the copper bath. So I don't want to submerge the tuners completely in them as maybe it will ruin the gears on the inside. So I'm using the brush on technique again. And now to be hilarious, we will also copper plate the strings as most guitar strings are nickel plated already. So we can easily add some copper plating on top. And then last piece is the roller bridge, which is chrome. So we first need to remove the chrome and then copper plate it. And here's the final result. Uh, what I like the most is the combination of nickel and copper on the vibrato arm. 
So I think I should have done that a lot more. So if I would ever do this again, I would make half of the parts copper, the other half stays nickel. In case anyone is wondering what copper plated strings sound like, they're basically like normal strings, except they don't feel as nice as simply nickel plated. So here's why almost no guitars have copper hardware. The thing is, copper will tarnish over time. There will be discoloration or it will get darker. And what you can do is polish it with salt and vinegar. And on this one, I was polishing through the copper and there's a shiny layer of nickel underneath. Okay, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.